All right, hey everyone, I wanted to show you all my forge. I just did a video on the oil reservoir for it. And see my oil line runs over to my metal pipe. I've got a old air mattress blower that wasn't, they didn't fit any of the air mattresses that had a special fitting. So I attached it on there. And uh, what this is, it's an old metal barrel that it was all rusty. It wasn't any good. So, and then uh, I made one of the water heater oil burning heaters. And um, it took two hot water heaters to do it. I used an old gas hot water heater and an old electric. And this was left over from the gas. I put a scrock sprocket in as a plate. You can see there's the old exhaust tube. And right there's the pipe coming in. And I got it going through the wall of the metal barrel. And then, I, guys, I filled this with dirt. And for, on aluminum, it works great. But after, after the tube goes in through the dirt, I got it coming in at an angle this way so that it swirls through that's the from everything I've read that's the best way you can have it and now I got this piece of pipe or piece of angle iron right here to funnel it a little bit more Knock that in. I have to do that when I put the camera down but it, it goes right about here so that it blows over. I just gotta knock her in. And then my crucible, it's about worn out, as you can see. But I should be able to get another couple melts out of it. I've melted a lot of aluminum in this. And then my lid, I need to insulate it. I tried to do copper with it and it, I didn't have much luck. But it's the bottom off of the gas hot water heater and the leftover parts I just took the cutting torch and just cut the whole bottom right on off of it and then the gas or the the chimney on the hot water pot or heater I just cut it off with the torch also I did not spend a dime on any of this stuff this was all stuff I had laying around in my junkyard the only thing I bought was the valves and the fittings right there on the reservoir otherwise oh and i forgot I, I bought a i actually bought the heating element a while back and i'm i just never used it so you might say i bought it you might not either way it's brand new and i still ain't used it <laughs> but if it ever gets cold you know i can wire it up i just i want to put a thermostat on it before i actually fire it up oh and before i i get the fire build I wanted to show you see we turn this on and you can see the excess oil actually blowing out of the pipe right now and it's running off onto the angle iron and the metal plank that'll help it vaporize oh, oh and guys <coughs> I like to pour a little bit of diesel into my my oil mix well, not much I just like to pour maybe half a cup or so into it just to help it light a little bit and it'll increase the the, the combustion of it just makes it burn a little bit easier but I don't like to use too much diesel because then it starts costing me all right, I wanted to show you. I like to start just a small wood fire. And that's right on top of where my pipe comes in. And to make it even easier to burn, I'm gonna pour just a little bit of diesel onto my firewood. I just, I like my, sh I like my stuff to start fast. And I wouldn't recommend doing this with gasoline. That's very dangerous. It's, the diesel burns a little bit slower. 
so it's a lot less likely to blow up in my face. See, it only takes a little bit to get her going with my torch. And then my leftover diesel I got in my cup, I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it right on into my oil. And I've only got maybe that much oil in it, but that's quite a bit for just a little bit I'm gonna do. And now I'm gonna turn my blower on and watch this. Back it off a little bit. Let me put my lid on it. Start to cook. We're gonna turn a little bit of oil on too. Just to get her going. Alright, and we'll give that a second to get going. It's only been maybe almost a minute. And you can hear it starting to sound more and more like a jet engine. Give it a shot more of oil. Maybe I can zoom in through the hole. But as it gets hot, this whole thing will fill full of fire. And this is a very simple forge, guys. Very simple. No refractory concrete, no cement, a porter, or I can't remember the name. But all I did was stick dirt in here and fire bricks in the bottom of it just to hold the tanks where I need them. Uh, I'm gonna give this a couple minutes to get up the temperature. As you can see, we're starting to get up the temperature now. I'm gonna back my oil off just a little bit. There's a little bit of delay, so you gotta find your sweet spot. Now you see how it's trying to swirl a little bit? It'll swirl a lot better once I get my pan in there. Can you see that sprocket starting to turn red hot where that oil falls on it? That's good. Alright, let me put my smelting pot in. 